Hi, it's Tybug and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it feels like it hasn't been that long since I filmed a video, but I think it's been like four weeks, so like almost a month. But um, I mean, my live streams have been pretty consistent. <laughs> I'm trying, it's just been very hard, lots of stuff going on. But anyways, I'm gonna do another Genshin Impact look. This is going to be a tutorial on a look I've already done. So the look I'm doing is Mona from Genshin Impact. It was, I think, the first look that was requested for me on my channel. And it is a pretty simple look, but it's a look that came to me like right away when it was requested. I'm just gonna pin my bangs back, but this, is like i would say a pretty beginner friendly look if you want to start stepping up like the types of looks you do and like play around with um colors a little bit it's a fun look i can do it pretty easily so i think you guys will have a fun time with it so the first thing i think this is maybe the most important part of this look is to get a good base because the colors we're using are kind of like pastel they're not like super dark uh, they're really pigmented but like if you don't have a good base and you have darker skin it's going to be a little bit harder to get the proper payoff so what i use is the p louise base in white uh, juvia's place also has a pretty good um primer and i think nyx has a good one and elf so if p louise is out of your budget try those but this is a really great base i've had it for almost a year now but I barely used any of it and I used it like for all of my looks. So I'm just gonna spread this all over my eye and you're gonna get the shape you want for this look after you've done most of the work. Some looks I do like one eye at a time. This one I could say you could do both eyes at a time. So this is, you're gonna wanna get like a kind of sharp look so just get into that area that you're gonna have everything in. So I would go all the way up to the brows and just out. And we'll clean that all up later. So don't worry if it looks messy. You just want to kind of have it even when you're spreading it out. For Mona, I wanted to do like kind of a clean look. I haven't met her character yet. I don't know anything about her. I haven't even pulled for her character. So um, this look is very just like off the cuff. <laughs> just kind of predictive. I really based most of this look off of her outfit because she has like the purples, the blues, and then like the hints of red. She has gold in her outfit too, but that seemed like a lot of work at the time, so I didn't add the gold. So <laughs> we just don't have it. <laughs> okay, next I'm gonna talk about this product more in the next video I do, but I love, absolutely love this palette. I'll talk about it. Ugh. I could go day on for days about this. But this is the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. And this is something I use for a, a lot. But we're going to be using... Oh my god, I don't remember what colors I used. I think we're going to be using Honey Lavender and Mint Chocolate. And we're going to go in with a fluffy brush. This one. It's hard to show the brushes. And make sure you have something to clean off your brushes. I got this off of Amazon for like a dollar. It's just like a little dry brush cleaner. And we're gonna go into that mint chop. Let me look at my, let me look at how I did this look before. I'm, I'm psyching myself out. Yeah, I used Cookie Monster, not mint chocolate. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So that's more of this uh, lavender kind of blue look instead of this greenish blue. Whoopsies. Let's see if I can cover this up. I think I may need to take it off. Well, good thing this look needs these. So I have to take off. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Messing up my own look. Okay, we're going into Cookie Monster. Yep, this is the color. This is the color. We're going like halfway, halfway. So let me just build all this color up. We're not gonna go too far into the inner corner, just cause, no particular reason. Just from what I've seen about Mona, she seems like a one pathway type of person. So I wanted her look to be kind of clean looking, kind of like pale, homage to what I think her personality is like. Then I think 
I could use the same brush. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna clean it off. And now I'm gonna go into the Honey Lavender. So, whoops. This is the wrong shade. This is the right shade. Now I'm gonna go into Honey Lavender. <laughs> Why isn't this color working? Have I betrayed myself? Did I use different? I know I used these palette. It just looks not as bright. Oh, gotta wait till the red. Gotta wait till the red. Psyching myself out. Psyching myself out. I'm in my head. And I'm starting to make that kind of V pointed shape. I don't really know how. I, oh, wrong color. My, my goodness. It's one of those days. I think this is right. I'm going to leave it. If it's not right, it's my look. I can do whatever I want. Just do poop. <laughs> Just do purple and blue. That's really all you need. It's all you need. But it's not working for me. Okay. So now. No, this is where these come in. These little pointed cotton swabs in the micellar water. I have micellar water on my table. I probably could just use that. So this is where we're gonna make our shape. This is so bad. I'm, <laughs> I'm using the micellar water off my table. Anyways, okay, first you're gonna start from your bottom lash line. I usually do this off camera, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it this time. You're gonna start by your bottom lash line and you're just gonna push that cotton swab and swipe up. See how that makes that shape for you real fast? And then you just clean everything up out of that shape. And you can make it more dramatic if you want. Then this is a little bit harder part because you want to do this all in one swipe. You don't want to go You want to do, be really confident with it. So part of it's already used, so I'm going to use the other part. And you're going to start at the corner and you push in and you just go up to your brow and down. So you get that initial shape, then you can clean it up. But you need to be confident about it, otherwise it's going to look kind of blurry or it's going to look like jagged and you want like a clean shape. Because this is the shape we're going to use to do the red liner. And you want to make sure that when you're cleaning it up, if you have like a kind of hooded eyes like me, that it's above the hood because that's where the liner is going to go. And if you do it below the hood, then the liner is going to disappear when you do it. Clean the inner eye a little bit. But make sure once you're doing the cleanup part, you are happy with the colors you laid down because after that you can't really blend it that much anymore. I like to use the pointed part, but if you have just like right, right bleh, if you just have regular Q-tips, those will work fine. So this half is regular, so I'm going to use that to show you that you could do it with a regular Q-tip as well. And I'm still using the micellar water off of my table. Okay, from the corner. When you go from the corner of your eyes, it'll make it look, it may not be exactly symmetrical because eyes aren't the same, but it'll look good for the eye you're on. And then you can look at it, like distance yourself from the mirror and see what you need to do to make it more symmetrical. That wasn't wet at all. <laughs> I had nothing on there. Guess I got it all off my table. Looking good, looking good. Gura, gura, gura. Gura, gura, gura. <laughs> I'm embarrassing. I'm an embarrassing person, but you know what? You gotta roll with it. Roll with it. Okay. So you see how I have like a little bit of white up there? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't even think about it. Next, because we're gonna cover it up. Next, you're gonna go, I, take out most of that off. I like this liner, but I have a problem with it. So this is the ColourPop um, liquid liner. It's the the red one. I wanted a water activated liner because those are a lot more pigmented. This is great because it's easier on my hands, but it's not that pigmented. So I'll show you in a second, but basically what we're gonna be doing with this is we're just going on the outside of the shape. So you're not free handing anything really. You're just following the shape you've already made. I think it's easier if you start at the bottom and then kind of like do some dots so you don't have to like freehand it, like follow the shape the whole way. But just, just watch, watch. So 
So I need to go over it a little bit. Also, when you're doing this, make sure you don't have any face makeup on because you need that stability. Unless you're a pro. If you're a pro, then I bet you could just wing it. This you don't need to be as confident with your strokes because if you like go into your shadow a little bit, you can just kind of match it up. But like, <laughs> don't be too unconfident because if you need to match it up, you may cover up all of your eyeshadow. And we're not gonna go all the way into our inner. We're just gonna go like where your lashes start getting really short, you know? And then I just go over this a little bit so it's more opaque. And make sure that corner is snatched. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye, but that's basically all you're gonna be doing. Super easy, I did that in a minute, even with my hand problems. So like if you feel like you're lacking some pigmentation, I mentioned this in like other types of uh, makeup looks I do, you can kind of just stamp it on there, just place it, and you don't need a drag and you'll get more color pay, pay off. If you have shaky hands, sometimes you need your other hand to hold it in place. And that's essentially the look. Now we just like need to put it all clean. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Fenty Beauty black liner, and we're just gonna do that on our lash line, just so it, like it looks better when we put mascara on, because sometimes when you just do eyeshadow and mascara, it kind of looks like like, sometimes when you look down, you can see um, eyeshadow on your lashes, so then it doesn't look as complete. But when you put the black liner on top, it just like... What? Do you understand? Like, it makes sense in my head. And my trick for doing this is just lean up against your lashes. Your lashes will do most of the work for you. You don't really want to have a little wing like I just did. That was a mistake. Don't pay attention to that. And then we just finish it up with some mascara. And this is the Bad Gal Bang mm, mascara. <laughs> I forgot what this was called from Benefit. This is a great concealer. This is a Kosas. I think this is their only concealer, their brightening concealer, I think it is. I'm just gonna put that on my dots a little bit. I don't really want to put it on my forehead, so we're not. So we're not. And just kind of spread that everywhere I need it. And then I'm gonna go in with my powder, the Cool Sass Pillowy Cloud Set. I'm just gonna do this on my high points, or where I'm shiny. Boop 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 boop. boop. Now to the blush. Sometimes I'm so used to not wearing like concealer and face makeup that I just put blush on without thinking about it. And we're going on the high points, right next to where we did that liner. Just a little bit on the nose. Bring it up a little. And we can do a little bit on the temples just to draw it all together so you don't like have that weird space. I'm getting excited. I love doing makeup so much. And when I did this look, I didn't do anything with my brows because like most of the time my brows are fine, but because I'm like doing it more of like a, for you guys, I'm gonna use my NYX, uh, the brow glue, just to like make them look manicured a little bit. I'm not gonna make them fluffy or anything. Just gonna put them in place. I'm blessed with very naturally thick brows. Haven't always been the trend, but I've never done anything for my brows to match the trend, so that's why they've always been like this. And now, I feel, I need to clean that up, but I'm waiting for the mascara to dry so it doesn't smudge everywhere else. And for the lips, make sure you have chapstick on, but this lip product is pretty good. 
on any type of lip, even if you have like really dry lips. So this is the NYX Powder Puff Lippy. I don't line my lips usually. I just kind of put it on. And if you don't want a strong lip, you can kind of just dab it on there and spread it out, but I kind of want a strong lip. I've done it. Yay, we've recreated Mona's look. Super duper easy. I hope you enjoyed. So I'll have all the products linked down below. Um, I think I'll, the video I had this in is probably one of my older uh, live streams, but I'll see if I can find it. I'm sure it's easy to find. It's in one of my older live streams, so I'll just put that down below if you want to see it in action. And then it's also on my Instagram, and I'll post new photos with it done like this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're healthy and safe, and I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.